Hello friends, welcome back to the course. Now that you have uh, seen the basic overview of the isolated footing, uh, we'll see these footings in more detail, okay? So here I have already told you that, uh, so you can see here the footing F1, F5, F1, F1 are written. And similarly, if we go to the upper floors, so you got F2, F3, F4, and so the footings have been numbered, right? So now we'll see the detail of the footing, right? So now you know uh, about the reinforcement over here. We'll talk about other aspects of this footing, right? Okay, so uh, first thing first, uh, let's go to the detail of the footings. Okay, so uh, we have we had seen a footing F1, F2, F3, F4 written, right? So, so they are different because their size is different first. Uh, their reinforcement is different. Uh, their overall depth is different, and depth at the edge uh, is different. So, what these are, we'll talk one by one. Okay, so let's start with the footing F1. Okay, so the size of the footing F1 is 1850 mm by 1850 mm. So that is also reflected on the plan as well. Okay, and uh, so length is 1850 and breadth is 1850, right? And the overall depth of the footing is 400 mm. So what is the overall depth? We'll see this section. Okay, so the from the top of the footing up to its base, the uh, depth is known as the overall depth and it is represented by the capital D, right? And uh, so it is 400 mm for footing F1 and for footing F2 it's 600 and for footing F3 it's 750 and the for footing F5 it's 750 again, right? And the depth at the edge that is DE is 200 mm. Okay, so we'll see what the depth at the edge is. So here it's marked as DE. Okay, so uh, here is your soling and this is your PCC and the DE must be from here up to here. Okay, so uh, depth at the edge is uh, where your slope terminates and that portion up to the base of the footing is called. 